I'm alive. I promise. My friends, I shall deliver this sermon another time. The battle with the Devil's Legions is ongoing, and Mr. McCraith and I have much to discuss. Thank you. Lenny, no me like a Lenny. This miracle of ours, Mr. McCray. Exiled we, yet in our darkest hour, we find the moral vigor to build this humble monument to resilience. But you and I must speak of darker matters. For we, erudite men of higher learning, know that evil yet walks. There is much work to be done. Indeed there is. Yes, yes. Forgive the inelegance of my welcome. You are alone. Do I surmise that Miss Duarte is no more? She knew the risks. So will I go in unto the king. And if I perish, I perish. So said Esther to Mordecai. Such wisdom. Such courage. I'm so sorry for your loss. Grief is a journey, long and painful, but you do not walk the road alone, I promise you. And there comes a time when you must let go and walk on alone. In time, God healed my wounds. May you two find peace. Now, I regret that even at this most burdensome time for you, I must move with haste to business and beg once more for your help. What's going on? It must be serious if you're asking for my help. Since your defeat at the meeting house, the devil, heartened and emboldened, goes from strength to strength. He insinuates himself among my people, reveling in the suffering of the disease he unleashes upon us. It pits one against the other. Suspicion tears this community apart once again. All this to weaken my people and lead them away from the light of God. And he holo, holo, no follow. Doctors, and I'm no doctor. We'll not treat the symptoms, we'll tear out the root. An agent of the devil walks among us. A witch? You must find her, or him, as it may be. You and I share great expertise, but I'm a man of position. Well, you, sir, are much more familiar with field work. Go, meet my people, walk amongst them. Learn which of them secretly serves the demon, that we may expunge this evil malady from our body politic. What makes you think there is a witch at work here? I, sir, I'm a man of God and intellect. I can read the signs. When a so-called mystery disease afflicts half of my people overnight, there can be only one culprit. It is the devil's doing, sir. Probably through one of his servants. For you see, I understood immediately that the water in the well had been tainted. There are no strangers here. You could self-accept it. No one has fled. The guilty woman, or man, I suppose, remains within the village. As evil walks, the evil are emboldened, but this witch shall see her downfall, or his, of course, as did the last one, as will the next. Some years ago, you may have heard tell of this, I made my name on the execution of a terrible witch. It pains me that I must do it once more. I am no witch hunter. 
My business is with the lingering dead. For a fee, yes, I know. But you can't deny evil practitioners exist. A few years ago, I had to cleanse this community from such a threat. Do you mean Deborah? You know a little already, I gather. Yes. Deborah, the crooked school teacher. When Deborah showed her true nature, I was proud to pass judgment upon her. She earned her punishment. Her mask was a good one, as if butter would not melt upon her tongue. But she cannot. Oh, Deborah, ficou puto virou um monstro de vez. Intellect, no sir, you cannot. You'll not mind me saying it, but for a Puritan paradise, you seem to get more than your fair share of witches. God has not forsaken us, but someone here does the devil's work. Find me a witch, Mr. McCraith. Return this place to the Lord. I'm a working man, Governor, but the Lord... I'll take my leap. Of course. Outside, you must take... The... Another witch hunt. If there even is a witch, Deborah was innocent. A real life, actual banisher here. You're the governor's son, right? I, uh, yes, sir. Lamentation Haskell. Friends call me Lammy. Lamentation. Oh, if I had any, please call me Lammy. I have so many questions, sir. So many questions. But I suspect this is not the time. No, not the time. But perhaps you may help me anyway. Me? Why, if I can help, I'd be honored. Your father believes there is a Harrow's witch. Have you noticed anyone acting strange? I... I'd answer, sir, I surely would, only things being as they are, everyone is acting strange. The curse brought illness, illness brought division, division has led to strife. We could do with some healing, sir, we could. We need you to bring us peace. Good day to you, lad. Good day to you, sir. Good day to you, sir. Ghost Ward. I think you can safely knock it over. Eu não tá, viu?
Eu falei com um colono. Tell from your sorry demeanor that you won't mind me asking you a couple of questions. I'm Red McCraith. I'm a banisher. I'm searching the area for evidence of witchcraft. And you, I can tell, are itching to help me. Show your shite and shapes, goose peddler. No witches here. Only myself, Caleb Watson. The governor bade me make the rounds. Is anyone acting strange? Why would he ask you that? Everyone keeps secrets. And I have a talent for uncovering them. I ain't got no secrets. I ain't done no wrong. Search me house, if you don't believe me. See for yourself. And when you're done, if you're any kind of man, you'll come back here, doff your cap, apologize, then shite off and never come back. If you're looking for someone acting strangely, I think you've found your man. I'll be leaving you alone. A man content with... Fear not. You'll bugger off soon. They both will. Fascinating. Does each citizen have their own? What do you think? Two of them are missing. Alexander and Ruth Watson. Hmm. Family? It's ours anyway. Should have been ours since the beginning. You know it's true. by two brothers at once rarely ends well doesn't it personal experience don't go there debris my bond down house why keep it here what's this it's not metal not wood yeah, what's... it's bone <coughs> lovely Alexander Watson, the cobbler's wife and brother. <laughs> Feels terrible. Caleb Watson is out of his mind with grief. I think we need to talk to Caleb Watson. You done enough sniffing? Hmm? Tired of the smell of your <coughs> own ass? You said you had no secrets. That was a lie, am I right? Everyone has secrets. I can smell your secrets from here, mate. A pox on you. And a pox on your questions, too. You're not taking head on. You must take your time. Outflank him. There's bond debris out back. I found bone in it. Where does it come from? You must have little business if you spend your time sifting through my rubbish. It came from the house. Probably. I read your letter to Ruth. It's clear you loved her. Were you telling the truth about Alexander's infidelity? My name is Caleb Watson. And before God and all present, I swear that the letter I wrote to Ruth was a load of shite. Lusting for his beloved Ruth, I set out to ruin Alexander's name because I'm a greedy little prick. You're frank. You don't sound like you regret it, though. No. 
The past's the past. Dead and buried. My brother is but a lingering memory. It was terrible what happened to your wife and brother. It might have helped if you'd mentioned that. You must be grieving. Do you mind if I ask where they're buried? Shite on me, shite bad brother. And shite on you too. They're both deep in the dirt up at God's Acre, and I'll speak no more of it. What's going on at God's Acre, Caleb? Shite off with your God's Acre, and good riddance to both. God's Acre concerns you not. You need to tell me what happened here. Stop hiding. Nothing happened. I'm buried. I'm buried <coughs> all. Quiet, you. And you can shite off. Taking your nothing happened with you. Whatever happened, it happened at God's Acre. Okay, God's Acre. Day our daily bread, our bread, not our ale, our bread. Do you want us to starve? I should have the yeast. You know it, Mistress Barrow. You know it full well. If you will. Thoughts on Caleb? You first, young man. Talking to Caleb felt like talking to a group. I'm thinking possession. Possession is plausible, but the clues are confusing. We jump to no conclusions. Instead, we gather proof. Hmm, fantasma não pode ser fantasma não pode entrar ali como é que tá assombrando ele? Oh, regra não vale para todo mundo. God's Acre. God's Acre. Too heavy to lower from your side. Here we are. Let us find the graves of Alexander and Ruth, and whatever got Kate up acting so strange. Someone's been doing some undertaking. In New Eden, there's much to be done. Ready and waiting. 
Dobra, kan, to problem. Yes, but what exactly were they stealing? Undertakers did this. <coughs> we should find other work. I doubt there's a job on earth that suits whatever did this. Here did lie Alexander Watson. Did Caleb take their bodies? Someone did. And he's at the top of my list. <laughs> well, they made quite the mess. Decoys. To distract wayward spectres. To keep them away from the Watson plot, I think. Rudimentary. Someone's had a little training. Perhaps the decoys make sure it's the way. Follow the path. Don't get too close. I'll try. This way. More of them. Nem pra onde? Das Índias? Demonology. I should have known. Eu tenho aqui só um monte de obra aqui. I'll grant him that.
I'm right here, you know. Be ready. Up to no good. Igor Mortis. Ai, thank you. Shrines now? With bones? It's like Lady Blackwood's boudoir around here. Part of the story is waiting to be revealed. Who oh, there, fella? You're nasty, aren't you? Nasty, yes. But also shoddy. It's very poor work. Are you sure we didn't miss anything? With a bit of luck, we'll find what we need. Something's nearby. Where is it? What is this? It looks like a butchered version of the ritual of lesser palingenesis. The ritual of that ritual? The one that brings someone back. That ritual. Yes, that ritual. In Shaw in Dras the Toki Min Kuster. Flesh unto verb, as verb unto heart, as heart unto flesh. Death's knot is unsevered, and I shall cut it. Let them have you, Vicky. A mulher? A hooch? Caleb Watson invoked a ghost without a body for it to inhabit, so it took his. Caleb is no longer Caleb. He got the wrong ghost too. He used pieces of his wife and also of his brother. Ruth, Alexander, Caleb could be any combination of them in there. Let's go find out which. Tá andando é foda, hein? Vai que é foda, tá andando. Tá, 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 tá.
Ya bir şey var. Sürpriz. Eyleg. That ritual or not? I suspect this beyond me. It's not, but we agreed you won't need it. Besides, Caleb's work was poor. Your work is good. A ritual like that? Good is not a word that comes to mind. <laughs> Um merda vida dele. Eu quero acabar esse jogo, tô meio cansado de jogar esses caras, né? Eu só fazer isso aí. Acabar. Give us this day our daily bread, our bread, not our ale, our bread! Hush now. All is well. Nothing but shite off. We've been to God's Acre. Quite a tale it told us. You're not Caleb, are you? Or at least not entirely. Ah. Can't fog you. Alexander Watson. Long tale short, Caleb tried to bring his dead wife back. And I live here now. So many questions. Where to even start? He was trying to bring his wife back. How did you end <laughs> up in the mix? Caleb made a fine cobbler, a poor brother, a worse husband, and a truly terrible witch. The ritual went to shite. Because, <laughs> of course he did. <laughs> Do both of you share Caleb's body? Share? <laughs> no. This house of flesh is mine. Because I am a generous man, I allow my mother to live in the cellar. We were twins. I was the rotten half, they said. But who's the rotten half now? There's something else you should know. If you don't know it already, I'm not alone. I completed the ritual. My darling Ruth is in here too. You used the ritual to bring Ruth's spirit into Caleb's body. Why? Love moves a soul to strange endeavors. We deserve a better life. I set myself to claiming it. I understand your anger, more so your desire. But what of Ruth? Did you consider what she wanted? Caleb stole a life from me, but he also stole Ruth's voice. She shrank beneath him. Of course she wanted a second chance at life. 
I'd like to hear this from Ruth. May I please speak with her? No! We've carved ourselves out a little happiness at last. I'll not have you break it. Please, leave us alone. Give us this. We need to speak to her, one way or another. If he won't tell us anything, perhaps the house Ruth died in will. I'll be leaving you alone. For alone? Hush now. All is well. Ruth and Nothing Alexander are having an affair in her husband's body. I can't find an angle with that. Isn't just plain wrong? Something feels wrong. Something about Ruth. If we find the ghost tie, we can talk to her. Is there a cousin? Não, já, é sei que eu achei, já eu quero para fazer. Lá com esse maluco mesmo. Them inside. There's a lot of debris. Wards. I'm going to need a hand here. Eu já achei, gente. Achar um caminho para casa. Wards, think you can fend for yourself? The ghost wards feel far away from here. Just one keeps me from manifesting. Fancy knocking it down? Eu logo tô cansado. Hein? Por isso que eu fiz também fazer aquelas pastinhas simples ali. Sofrimento, caralho. Os negócios mandava pra cá, que mandava 700 metros. Não mais 600. E era uma coisa simples. Caramba, cabelo aqui.
Eu tenho um sério problema que os caras não conseguem ficar certinho, mano. Mas não consegue fazer subir, não consegue fazer as coisas. Ah, tem um buraco na parede, mas ele não consegue atirar pelo buraco. Vai quebrar o um negócio. Who's that? Yes, something's here. This one shows real sensitivity. Caleb? Maybe. Not Alexander. I suspect we've just learnt a little about Ruth. Coração humano murcho pertence ao Ruth Watts. Of course. Ruth's heart binds them like a bushel of rotten corn. Ew. What do you have there? Stop right there, you rank rump. Whatever you found, it ain't yours. You buried Ruth's heart in the ashes of the house that killed her. I find that odd. You. A ghost went digging in the ashes of a dead woman's house. You're ill-positioned to call me odd. Don't think I haven't felt your presence before. Stow your tongue while I speak with Ruth. Ruth, can you hear me? Can you speak? Pock off and die. I'm in charge here. No. Hush ye, Alexander. I'll speak. I'm Ruth. I hear you. I'm Antea Duarte. We're here to help. We're here to help. I'm glad. Please, end this nightmare. Help me. Go to hell in a bag of shite. We're fine. And you have not the right. You hear? You've not the right. <laughs> He silenced me. We may speak. Help me, please. Who taught Caleb the resurrection ritual? To say it was taught would mean he'd learned it. He read it off a page. As a sorcerer, Caleb makes a fine cobbler. Think about Caleb. He was a good listener. As he worked, clients had bend his ear. The Haskell boy, for one. As Caleb pinned the governor's shoes, young Lammy would talk magic. N nonsense, really. But Caleb was listening. Wait. Wait Lammy Haskell gave Caleb the resurrection ritual? After Lammy mentioned the ritual, Caleb became obsessed with it. He begged. Então lembre que é o bruxo. Generosity gave it. Caleb was intent on dark work. Lamy furnished written instructions. Caleb's letter changed your life. How did it feel at the time? He tore me in two. I loved Alexander, but I deserved to marry a man who would be true. Caleb seemed decent. I, I believed. Um I thought I married the better brother, but I've married a liar, a liar, and a devil. And yet, not even he deserves this. 
No one deserves this. How did Caleb treat you? With adoration. I was an idol. Worshipped, <clears throat> yet unloved. He was the sculptor and I was the statue. Smiling down, unmoving from my pedestal with nothing to say. Now I'm sewn into a festering sack with the quivering remnants of my husband and the angry ghost of his dead brother. Please, let me out. Ruth, your husband Caleb's botched resurrection ritual brought you back, but allowed his brother Alexander to take you hostage. Once we deal with the Watson brothers, you shall be free to ascend. Do what you must. I'll suffer it if it leaves me free to go. No! We can stay. Please, Ruth, let us stay. Look at you. Your counterfeit, a sham of a thing. Your so-called life is no life at all. Caleb lied and stole your love. But when the time was right, you lied and stole his body. We're ending this nonsense now. Posso banir ele, mas... Mas se eu banir ele que você vai voltar o Caleb, vai ficar root. Agora o Caleb já era, né? Ah, vou desculpar ele, eu mato ele e... Caleb Watson, we can but grant you the mercy of oblivion. But, but what about me? What about Ruth? Ruth is free to go. I shall have my rest now. Thank you. No, é um tipo ocupar o Caleb. O Caleb não está mais ali. É só o Alexander que está ali, né? O Caleb já é, mano. Só o Alexander. Fez todo esse rolo, prendeu a mulher com um refém. Acho que se eu, bani, se eu só banisse o Alexander, ele ia. Foi um erro, ia morrer de um jeito. Só tá ele. Já sabe que ele põe no cara, sai. The line twixt love and hate is thin and easily crossed, especially between brothers. None are better placed to wound than your own blood. That was something. Don't take it to heart. Their choices are not your business. Our choices are my business, and their consequences too. Don't waver. Someone inside's hard at work. Wait. Spectral stains. Haunted house. Thank you. 